Detroit, we are on the clock. Just two weeks to go until the NFL draft. The city unveiling its new gateway sign to welcome hundreds of thousands of visitors. Thank you for staying with us today. I'm Glenda Lewis. Well, if you've been on social media and read the comments on our Facebook page, a lot of people didn't seem too impressed with that signage. We're hearing from so many of you, and they say, it's fair, opinions run deep on this one. One person commenting, I love it. I think it's very cool and needed, but others weren't so happy. A lot of you seem disappointed in that sign. One Detroiter saying, our potholes are bigger than this. Your thoughts are the reason we sent 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig to find why so many of you are voicing disdain for the Detroit sign. The Detroit Gateway sign is aimed at greeting people coming into the city, but not everyone is giving the sign itself a warm welcome. It represents Detroit. Everybody's going to have a different opinion. And they certainly do. Maybe make it uh, stand out a little more because, you know, it looks kind of frail. <laughs> I love it and then we love it. I think people just thought maybe that it was going to be bigger or more sparkly or kind of the comparisons to the Hollywood sign. And it doesn't look like the Hollywood sign, but that's OK. Like the Hollywood sign wouldn't work right here. A city official said it was going to be like the Hollywood sign, but smaller and smaller it is. And although it doesn't look very different from the rendering the city released, an image that went around social media perhaps gave people the impression that it was going to be huge, including the hills around it. I don't know where they think they're going to put it. We don't have hills around here. What do you make of the criticism? I, I don't think it's fair for one. The, the citizens of Detroit should be happy that we have this. There's a, uh, there's a, there's a song about it. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to state the fact. This ain't the sign that we ordered, you can take it back. What made you come up with this song? Well, you know, I'm the voice of Detroit. So uh, yesterday I got like over a thousand inbox to do the song. So I had to do the song. And rapper G Mac Cash wrote it last night. I think I've seen a bigger sign at a graduation. That looked like Dollar Tree, like, you know, the Dollar Tree sign. But the sign does have its fans. The sign's great. That's something they should do. This way, when people come into the city, they know where they're at. They're in Detroit, the big D. And when the Joe Louis fist was revealed years ago, there were mixed opinions. Now it's a landmark, iconic. Do you think it'll be a landmark one day? I think so. Around the sign today, crews were working on installing some lights. I think that once people see it lit up, maybe that'll uh, improve their opinion of it. It looks much better in person than it does on the photographs that I've seen. So people should come down here and take a look. Oh, yeah, take a look. I think it's nice. It's not that bad, but we just expect it bigger. Even though it's not exactly how I pictured it, it just it sort of instills a sense of pride in me that is invaluable. We're not in Hollywood. We're in Detroit. And that's great right there, as far as I'm concerned. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, we'll keep those comments coming. Thank you, Kimberly.